<coughs> Welcome to another edition of City Beat. For the Herald and Review, I'm Kenneth Lowe. Decatur's only cab company has lost its license after the city's administrative court ruling. We spoke with some bar owners on what that means for their patrons. Let's have a look at the situation. The city's administrative court ruled that AOK Taxi had not properly informed the city of organizational changes, including the fact the Illinois Secretary of State's office had dissolved the company when it failed to file an annual report in September. Further, police and city officials testified a number of registered cabs were no longer in service and the company was using two vehicles that were not registered as cabs with the city. Owner Anthony Walker left prior to the hearing, saying he had no counsel at the time. In a flyer delivered to several bar owners dated October 11th, several days before the city's court ruling, AOK owner Anthony Walker wrote he will forever be grateful to the city of Decatur, but that the taxi services failed to turn a profit. Walker said his company would continue providing limousine and shuttle service as Walker Limousine Shuttle Service Incorporated, including Friday and Saturday night bar crawl transportation from 10 p.m. to 3 a.m. Speaking with the Herald and Review Tuesday, Walker said he is filing a federal lawsuit against the city and will seek to overturn the rulings, but is not sure whether or not he will seek to return cab service to the city of Decatur under AOK Taxi. In the meantime, local bars are trying to figure out how to help out customers who have come to rely on cab service. I, I think there's, gonna, there's been a need and I think uh, trying to find the right the way about going about doing it is, is going to be difficult. Uh, cab companies are going to need to be able to charge enough to pay their bills and on the other hand we got to be able to afford to be able to pay them so I think there's a definite demand but there's going to, I don't know the right answer to it. I've taken several people home just at the end of the night just to, because there was no other way to do it. City officials have said that those who are still in need of Operation Uplift service, which takes passengers to doctor's appointments when they can't drive themselves, will have that service available to them through the Decatur Public Transit System's buses. For the full story, check out Wednesday's Herald and Review. So, for the Herald and Review, I'm Kenneth Lowe. Take care.